Hi everyone and welcome back to our Green Roofs Direct YouTube channel. Today we have put together a video that is going to really highlight to you the difference that a green roof can have in comparison to an ordinary roof in terms of noise reduction and noise absorption. So this kind of information would be particularly useful if you are thinking of retrofitting a shed structure or a garden room and if you're currently considering what kind of roof should I put on this. Now a green roof has fabulous sound reduction properties in comparison to our standard roofing structures and it's also important to consider that those types of shed structure buildings that we have in our gardens tend to have less insulation than our residential homes. So unfortunately that does mean that more noise can transfer from things like heavy rainfall when we are in those buildings. Today we are going to actually measure the difference between heavy rainfall on our classic slate tiled roof and our fantastic sedum blanket green roof. So I'm all set up, I've got my noise meter ready to go and I'm going to ask once again, we have our glamorous assistant back with us, I'm going to ask Alex if he would start a bit of a downpour on our slate roof. So on our slate roof, we were getting pretty consistent readings of between 75, right up to sometimes 81, 82 decibels. So now we're going to put the sound meter onto our seat and blanket and we're going to see the difference. We saw a really big difference there in the sound readings. Even actually without measuring the sound readings, we could tell such a substantial difference just by being here and listening. Um, we were getting sound readings of around 65 decibels. Sometimes it was right down to 60, 61. If we want to put that in context of the everyday noises that we would normally hear and be living with, we have 50 decibels, which would be equivalent to say a quiet office. We then have 60 decibels, which would be normal conversation. 70 decibels would be equivalent to a vacuum cleaner. And then once we get up into 80 plus decibels, that is heavy traffic, a noisy restaurant. So we did see a substantial difference in these two roofing structures and how they can absorb noise. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please pop them in the comments below. Bye.